Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Electra Soul. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and just a spiritual bitch putting everybody on. What I intend to do is to teach people that God and Jesus and the universe coexist as one. Now today in this video, guys, <laughs> This is for the pretty bitches, which is all of y'all because all of y'all are gorgeous inside and out, but y'all already knew that. Besides that point though, if you want to become even better or maybe even the baddest version of yourself that you can be, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to be teaching y'all about how to manifest your attractiveness to be at level 1,100 million, bitch. Because absolutely, yes, you can. Yes, you will. Yes, you are right now because you said so. Now, obviously, before I get started with anything, I did want to say that all of y'all are beautiful inside and out. Like, please don't watch this video with a sense of insecurity like you're not beautiful enough because yes, you are, bitch. I promise you upside down, left and right. If you see a version in your head of you being absolutely gorgeous in every way that you want to be Then understand that you already are that version of yourself But you gotta be the one to, you know, claim it But besides that, let's get started right now Because it is time to get talking, alright? So now that we're in, let me give you a little bit of a background surrounding my own journey with this Because I did have my own little things about manifesting to become prettier and whatever the fuck Obviously in life, whatever you assume about yourself or other people That's exactly how they're going to be And that's exactly how you're going to be too Because that's what you're assuming, right? So I remember throughout my whole life Pretty much I feel like I always had a little sense of confidence at the back even though my ego many 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 times in my life tried to make me feel like shit about myself and make me feel like I wasn't as attractive as I wanted to be but at the core of all of our beings not just me every single person you know that you're beautiful like you know that you're pretty you know that you have it going on regardless of what you actually look like like it doesn't matter because you actually look absolutely gorgeous because you said so well then anyway when I was younger like in elementary some middle school I was bullied a lot for the way that I looked and I remember that that had an effect on my self-esteem because because obviously the fuck like people telling you that you're not cute you're gonna be like damn but I knew at the end of the day that because I wanted to be cute like I wanted to be pretty for myself that I can absolutely be that way but I'm the one who has to make it happen like I have to be the one who's in control because as long as I'm telling myself that I look ugly then what do you think is gonna happen I am going to be ugly because I keep saying that to myself now the same thing applies to if you keep telling yourself that you're pretty if you tell yourself that you're pretty guess what everyone's gonna start seeing that for themselves because you're saying that you are pretty it's all about the belief that you have about yourself now I remember as well when I was young there were many times like when we had to take yearbook pictures bruh every single time i told myself this yearbook picture is gonna come out looking like trash guess what the fuck always happened it always came out looking rough like really really rough and i remember looking at him and being like i knew it blah blah, blah. well yeah i knew it because i said so right the one year and i promise you the one year i was like i'm going to make this yearbook picture look amazing i'm not gonna play about this i want to look good so i'm going to look good guess what happened guys that year i fell in love with my yearbook picture i was like damn i did it i finally fucking did it and that's exactly how you do it you just have to say it so with that being said i want you to know that it is truly as simple as you affirming that you are more beautiful that ends up leading to you getting there all you have to say to yourself is i'm gorgeous i am beautiful i am stunning look at me look at me look at yourself in the mirror tell yourself you are the baddest bitch i've ever seen you are so gorgeous you don't compare to anybody else like you are on top of the world people look at you left and right because you're just so beautiful anytime anybody looks at me in public it's because they're like like, damn that girl is so pretty i am irresistible and that's exactly why everyone is attracted to me naturally because i give off that natural glow i just oof i radiate venus's energy y'all know the planet venus rules beauty libra and taurus bitch yeah you radiate that because you said so listen guys the second that you say that you're prettier bro promise you promise you you are going to see results people are going to start hitting you up on the streets being like damn girl look at you you fine as hell people are going to be dming you saying you are so fucking pretty your friends are even going to be like damn girl i love your features you're just so pretty yeah yeah, you do the fuck because i said so now obviously along with the firming you have to keep persisting so what that means is no matter what you see in front of you even if you feel fugly no you don't even if you put on the shittiest outfit i promise you your confidence will outweigh anything that you're wearing you could be wearing a garbage bag making it cute but you can literally be wearing a garbage bag and if you tell yourself that you look good and you feel that for yourself you're like damn i look good bitch people are going to see you looking good like people are really going to be like damn she looks good in anything she wears how did she make that garbage bag look like high fashion? You feel me? Like, bitch, I made it look like that because I said that I would, because I said that I do. Anything that I wear, even if it's a piece of string, looks amazing on me because that's what I said. And so with that being said, you cannot waver. Like, you cannot look around and be like, but I'm wearing a garbage bag. Everyone's gonna think I look so ugly. I don't like my makeup today, so everyone's gonna hate it too. No. Even if your makeup is trash, people are going to love it because you said that it looks good. That's the whole point. You said that it looks good, so everyone else assumes the same about you too. Again, if you go around saying all these bad things about yourself, talking bad and feeling insecure, and I look this and I look that, overthinking it, especially when you're out in public thinking people are probably staring at me. Why the fuck else would they be staring at you besides 
besides the fact that you look gorgeous they're not looking at you for any other reason than the fact that you are just a stunning woman or man who has walked into the area looking like that amazing because you said so you're not going to be sitting around beating yourself up because of the way that you look right you are going to put all the good energy that you can into the way that you look by saying and hyping yourself up to the fact that you look gorgeous you are so beautiful you are irresistible and let me tell you guys let me really tell you guys pay attention to the celebrities that everybody finds super super beautiful and gorgeous even the ones that aren't conventionally beautiful people think that they're gorgeous and of course they are but it's because they know that they are and don't let it fool you bitch they know it they definitely know that they're beautiful every day they look in the mirror and they're like ah I look so good today. I rule this outfit. I just rock. Yeah, you rock, bitch, because you said so. And within you believing that you rock, the whole world thinks the same thing about you too. Do y'all think that if those people sat around and said, I'm so fucking ugly, I cannot rock this outfit, I look so bad today, that people would still be like, damn, look at you, you look so good? I mean, yeah, it does happen sometimes that they still get that little edge of compliments going on. But I'm talking about if you truly believe that you're unattractive, I promise you, people are gonna think that you're unattractive because you truly believe that. There's no reason for you to be sitting around questioning your beauty because you are beautiful because you said so so make that decision right now to see yourself in that way no matter how you look even if you just woke up bitch i look gorgeous y'all think that i'm phased by a bad hair day or a bad makeup day bitch i don't experience bad hair days i don't experience having bad makeup that's something else that i want y'all to do too is if you're doing your makeup or you're doing something doing your hair do not ever say i hope this comes out okay no bitch your makeup is going to come out amazing every single time and i'm telling y'all because i do not know makeup like truthfully speaking yeah i be doing looks and shit but guys it is 110% improv this shit is improv i look in the mirror and i'm like i'm a fucking wing and i'm gonna make it look good and guess what i always do because i said so like that's how it works if i sat there and i was like oh oh my god it's not coming out it's not working what do you think is gonna happen bro i'm literally gonna look like shit because i'm sitting there talking and pointing out all the bad things about my makeup i'm saying that it's gonna turn out bad and guess what it would have if i said it like that but i chose not to so i hype myself up every day tell myself it's gonna look good no matter what it is and guess what it always does no matter what I wear, what I look like, what the fuck It doesn't matter because I said that it's going to look good And so it will That's how you become more attractive Is by your own belief Within knowing that you are just gorgeous Like you don't even have to believe that you're gorgeous Even though of course you are You just have to say it for yourself consistently Without giving up Stop focusing and fixating on all of your insecurities Because you don't have any Y'all don't think I was an insecure being bitch My whole life I was insecure as hell I was the most insecure person you probably would have ever met But guess what I wasn't gonna let that be a factor in my life Because I want the rest of my life to be peaceful, happy, fun-filled, you feel me, looking good, whatever. And I was going to make that happen for myself by claiming that for myself. Every time you take a picture for the gram, all these pictures are going to come out looking amazing. I'm telling you guys right now, during a time when I would take photos, I would always presume that they were going to look bad. And guess what? They always did. I could barely find one that I liked. Now, every single time I take photos or go to a photo shoot, what do I say? These pictures are going to come out so good. Every single picture I take is going to be amazing. I cannot wait to see the results. And guess what? Every single time I say that, I look at the pictures and I I fall in love with all of them because I said so because I claim that for myself I'm not gonna sit around and make myself feel like shit because of this dumb victim complex that everybody got going on like why the fuck it doesn't matter what you've seen what you grew up around what this world is telling you you have to do this to look good you have to do this to look good you have to do that I don't care I don't do any of that shit the only thing I will say that I do do is I add sunscreen every day but that's just my own belief that the sun will not affect my skin by putting on sunblock but again that's a personal choice you see that's the only thing that I do whereas before I might have had face cream cream acne cream wear this do that do this all this extra shit that i did not need and all because of insecurities the only thing that you need is some lip gloss and lashes I'm just fucking with y'all. But y'all know what I mean. Like, keep it simple. Do what you want. Do what you want. Just don't do anything that you know doesn't make you feel good. Like, if you know that you're forcing yourself to wear a whole bunch of makeup because you think that you're ugly, why? Like, why are you wasting your time and your makeup by doing all those things? You know that you're gorgeous. If you want to wear no makeup, but you feel too insecure to not wear makeup, ease your way out of wearing makeup by maybe one day putting a little bit less of foundation on. Maybe the next time you're going to not wear so much blush. Then going on, you're going to wear a little bit less this, that, whatever. It doesn't matter because makeup is amazing, but you know what? What I mean if you want to ease out of doing that thing then ease your way out but understand that throughout that process you are still just as gorgeous as you were when you began like you're ultimately very gorgeous but you have to be the one to know that for yourself you do not have to sit there and say i have a pretty pinup nose my lips are huge but they're perfectly carved on the side my jawline is sharp but smooth you don't have to sit there and be that damn specific because if you had a sharp but smooth jawline and lips that are big but perfectly carved and a pinup nose or whatever you're not going to sit there and say that to 
yourself, are you? Like, you're not gonna sit there and be like, my eyes are perfectly almond and they have a little crease at the end that makes it look super cute. You're not gonna do that. What you're going to do is you're gonna say, God, I am so pretty and I love the way that I look and that's it, right? Okay, so keep it that simple. When I was affirming for things to change for me physically speaking, maybe with the weight loss thing, I did affirm specifically for weight loss, but I didn't say my body turns in like this and I go out like that and near my butt, it goes carved in a little, like I don't do that shit, bro. I don't do that shit because immediately based off of you saying that you're gorgeous, that you have the body that you want, whatever, the universe immediately knows exactly what you're talking about. You don't have to be specific to that point. That's something I always tell my clients. I want y'all to listen to it too because it's super important to realize that you don't have to be like, about it just know that as long as you're saying it for yourself then it's going to happen because you said so and the universe knows exactly what you're talking about so even if you want to reconstruct your entire face okay reconstruct it but don't be so extra with it either like you don't have to be that damn specific make it as natural as possible another key point i always say making it as natural as possible is what makes things happen the fastest and the best because being natural with it is exactly how you would be if you actually had that thing and the point here is to make it seem like you already have that thing by saying that you already have it y'all get what i'm trying to say yeah y'all get it it really Really is that simple though guys there's nothing else to stress out about here the only thing that you have to focus on is knowing that you're absolutely gorgeous inside and out affirming it to yourself and not letting your own thoughts and insecurities block you out of getting that because there's no reason as to why you should be saying i'm so gorgeous i'm so gorgeous then looking in the mirror and saying damn i'm so ugly if it makes you feel better avoid the mirror if i knew that me looking in the mirror was going to make me feel more insecure i would just avoid it until i felt up to it so do whatever makes you feel most at ease with it you know don't ever look up girls on pinterest being like i wish i looked like her i wish i looked like her or whatever when you're affirming to be even prettier because why would you do that like you know it's going to trigger you so don't feed into that because that trigger moment that you're going to have is what's going to set you back to where you began and you do not want to go back there the same thing goes for if you're trying to fix maybe a facial feature like your nose or your eyes or something do not look in the mirror and say oh i don't like how this looks like i don't know i don't like okay what the fuck are you doing like literally what the hell are you doing if you're affirming that you're prettier and that your nose this and your eyes that then why the hell are you going to be sitting there pointing out the things that you don't want them shits don't exist anymore in the 4d you have the facial features that you want all of them they're all there they're all fucking there the only thing that you have to do though is to keep affirming until this right here comes into your 3d reality because it absolutely will you're going to see how your face changes just know that it's going to happen and along with that do not please guys do not sit there and be like oh my god i don't see movement it looks the same why do my eyes look like that are you dumb I don't want to call y'all dumb, but like that is a dumb ass move to make. I'm so sorry. It is really fucking stupid. Do not ever do that to yourself because you are reacting to the 3D by doing that. And guess what we don't do around here? We do not react to the 3D. We do not fucking react to the 3D. Even when I was affirmed for my nose to become smaller, y'all thought that I sat there every day and said, huh, my nose isn't becoming smaller. What's going on? No, bitch. Y'all want to know what I did instead? I just kept saying my nose is so beautiful. My nose is so small. I love the way my nose looks. My nose this, my nose that. Did not check. I did not take out that extra mirror to look from the side nope guess what bitch my nose is smaller right now because i said so and with that being said over time my boyfriend started saying damn girl your nose is smaller people started telling me i love your nose i even looked for myself one day when i knew and i felt in my soul that my nose was small and i said god my nose is fucking smaller because i said so and that's it and if you are the type to check up on your manifestations or whatever i mean you really 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 shouldn't but only do that if you know that it's not going to affect you but personally speaking i would wouldn't do that because it tends to trigger people when they see that things aren't moving their way when in reality they really are but you got to be patient like you just got to know that within you saying all your affirmations that it's going to happen but again that's entirely up to you like be strong but smart about it like very very smart no matter where you go people think that you're gorgeous no matter what you do people think that you're gorgeous no matter who you meet people think that you're gorgeous it could be a child who's five years old or a person who's 80 years old no matter who it is they all think that you're absolutely gorgeous because you said so people are naturally drawn to you because of your beauty you raise beauty people are naturally drawn to you people love the way that you look people think that you look good effortlessly you could be wearing any kind of outfit and people say damn she doesn't even try and she looks good you could be wearing no makeup and people say damn she's so naturally beautiful you can have the shittiest hair day and people will say she's so unique i love her hair it's so gorgeous you see how any downside can have a good side to it what if today i literally wore a ponytail like this on the top of my head like this i would have just said it looks good and guess what people still would have been like wow what a unique hairstyle i love it yeah you do bitch 
because I said so. You see how it works? There are no downsides to anything if you don't want them to have downsides. I don't claim downsides, bitch. Everything is good for me because I said so. Everything I do is gonna look good because I said so. I don't care how sloppy or messy it is or whatever the fuck. No, it's not. It looks good because I said so. And so with that being said, it all looks good for you too because you said so. You are naturally gorgeous because you said so. You have it all right now because you said so. Nothing else to stress out about. Stop checking the 3D. Stop making sure that it's coming. Stop making sure that it's gonna happen. Bitch, it's already happened. It's done. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. Know it for yourself. Do not be too specific. Just keep it simple, but keep it persistent and be strong within what you're saying because you know for yourself that you're absolutely gorgeous because you said so. So stop tripping, bitch. You got it in the bag right now. Face card on 100 because you said so and that's it. That's it, my beauty queens. That is absolutely it, period. Gorgeous what? Gorgeous you. <laughs> Alright y'all, that's basically it for my video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I intended this video up to the best of its ability and I know that I did because guys, gorgeous girl who, gorgeous girl you. You got the shit in the bag, my man, my girl, my they, whatever. You just look good because you said so. You look amazing right now because you said so. You will never experience another day of insecurities and I feel ugly. No, the fuck you won't because no, you don't. You're literally gorgeous. You are amazing. You have everything that you want right now. You do not experience insecurities. No matter what it is, you grew up feeling amazing and so you always will feel that way y'all think that i sit here and think about all the times that i was abused for my looks y'all think that i sat there and thought about the things that people would tell me about how i looked no i'm not a victim to the shit that people would tell me because first they were insecure as hell for even pointing that out they were insecure as hell for even trying to make fun of another person for the way that they look and that immediately puts me on top because i know that they were telling me those shits because they felt triggered by me in some way number one number two i'm the one who's in control so no matter what i do and what i look like i'm always going to look and do good because i said so and number three i can look however i want so if i want to look even prettier today than i did yesterday bitch i'm going to look that way because i said so it doesn't matter if you've struggled with insecurities your entire life like dead ass it doesn't matter i erased all that shit with revision it didn't happen i don't care i've always been gorgeous and guess what guys it's presented today because i feel that way always i always feel that way because i said that i do there's no other reason to make it as hard as it has to be and traumatizing and all the shit that you've been through i get it but you're not a victim you're literally not a victim do not let what people tell you be any kind of factor within your life even if you have trauma surrounding it just like i do i worked through it i got over it i was able to do it for myself because i knew that i could and so with that being said i am not going to let anybody in my life no matter who the fuck they are even if the president told me that i was fugly bitch you're fuglier i'm beautiful i don't give a fuck you think i care about what anybody has to say absolutely not the only thing that matters is that i'm saying that i look exactly how i want to look and then just knowing that i do and then i always do i always end up looking that way it's all about the confidence guys it's all about the confidence i've used this example in another video before but i remember in middle school there were these hoes that were ratchet as hell they just were down bad but guess what they were always attracting all these cute ass guys into their lives you want to know why because they said for themselves that they're a bad bitch that they're the baddest and guess what because they kept saying i'm the baddest i'm the baddest no matter how messy they were as people people always thought that they were gorgeous or at least their target audience always thought that they were gorgeous because they said that for themselves they said i'm so pretty i'm the baddest and guess what guys would line up and be like you are the baddest you're so pretty that's how it works girl that's how the fuck it works you could be fugly as hell <laughs> Of course, none of y'all are, but you know what I mean? Y'all could be the fugliest versions of yourselves and you will still be beautiful because you said so. Do not feel uncomfortable by telling yourself that you're gorgeous. Know that you are. Know that everybody was born to be absolutely beautiful in the way that they were supposed to be. Even if eventually you end up trying to change those features by using the law of assumption, understand that you were still always beautiful. You were still always gorgeous. Y'all think that when I had a big fat ass Italian nose that I said I'm not beautiful? No, I had to keep saying I'm so beautiful no matter what because I did not want to experience feeling, you know, less than beautiful. And so regardless of any way that I looked like even with my short teeth that I didn't like I still said I'm so beautiful And that's exactly how I made that energy happen for myself when all these people were telling me this and that this and that Because I said that I do like it doesn't matter what you look like even if you have an insecurity It doesn't matter to other people tell yourself I look good regardless people love my features regardless I look amazing regardless of what the fuck is on my face like I don't care I don't care I don't care if you want it that way It's going to be that way, but that's up to you to decide so make the best for yourself by affirming only the best within your looks within your features within the way that you feel about yourself each and every single day because you are absolutely gorgeous because you choose to be that way stop overthinking it stop comparing yourself to other people it doesn't fucking matter and stop making it so hard for you to feel beautiful because guys it is a natural right like we're all meant to feel beautiful and so you absolutely fucking will because you said so and that's it stop making it so hard for yourself it really is that simple and i'm telling y'all because i've done it myself I'm telling y'all right now if i could share all this personal information about myself in regards to the shit that i've been through with my look 
looks then y'all know that it is 110 true because bitch i'm a capricorn y'all already know we private as hell but i let y'all in on it right because it's the truth it is the truth it's all about the way that you perceive yourself and that's it make yourself out to be the most beautiful and i promise you no matter what room you walk into even if bella hadid is in that room you will always look beautiful because you said so and that's it all right y'all i will see y'all this sunday for another video thank y'all so much again for watching god bless y'all please take care everybody and beautiful who beautiful you bitch ugly where ugly nowhere <laughs> the fuck and you're not gonna deal with anything other than what you want to deal with so with that being said you are the baddest the prettiest the most gorgeous oof slim thick skinny whatever the fuck you want to be ass bitch that you are because you said so and that's it gorgeous who gorgeous you remind yourself of that each and every single day because it is the truth bye Okay, no, deadass, think about it. If I sat here every day and I said, I'm so ugly, what do you think would have happened? Everyone around me would have thought I was ugly along with me thinking that I'm super fucking ugly and that would have been the case and that's it. But I choose to sit there and hype myself up in the way that I want to because that's what I want to feel and experience each and every single day. And so with that being said, that's exactly what you're going to be doing for yourself because you are the baddest bitch that you ever want to be because you said so. Do not let yourself feel bad about yourself because of the shit that you've been through because none of that shit matters. No trauma ever applies here because you are stronger than any of that you are gorgeous and you choose to be gorgeous right now because you said so and within you choosing for that lifestyle you will always experience being gorgeous inside and out people will always be attracted to you and you will always feel the best version of yourself that you could possibly be because you said so you're the one who's in control so don't play about your power all right gorgeous people oh fucking k stop playing about it embrace your beauty truly because you absolutely can and you will right now because i said so